This handle part looks quite complex, but this can be made by only four features. The rim and the axis can be made by a revolve feature, and this spoke can be made by a sweep, and then a circular pattern, and then add some fillets. First of all, we want to make sure that we are using the right unit, which is IPS, inch base system. And we want to create this rim using revolve. So I want to draw the sketch using the right plane. We want to do a revolve, starting with a center line. Starting from the origin, I'm going to draw a rectangle for the center axis. And I'm going to draw the profile of the rim. So I'm just focusing on the shape, not the size. So I want to draw the path of the spoke using the center line tool, line, and an arc, another arc, and a line. Okay, so this has to be vertical. And I want to make sure that these are tangently connected. Select both together, tangent, and there's a tangent. There's another tangent, and this one is vertical. We want to add a dimension, selecting this to center, the overall diameter. So move my cursor to the other side. That would be 5.5. And this diameter of the axis will be, will be 1. The size, the height will be 1. And this location of this rim profile is from this, this line to this center line. But you have to be really careful because this is small. It could make us a, a symmetric dimension. Okay, so if you look at far away here, it's very not clear whether it is center one or not. But if you look at closely, so we want to make sure that it is not a symmetric dimension, 0.125. Okay, I'm going to move it down. And this is actually a 0.125, but it is shown as 0.13 because its precision is two digits. So we can increase the precision by selecting the dimension. And on the property manager, we can select the three digit precision then it shows 0.125. In fact, all our drawing has to be three digits. So go to option. If you want to change the precision, document properties, dimensions, and select the primary precision to three digits. Say OK. And all dimensions are shown in three digits. So continuing from here, the bottom of the one to the, to the line is 0.5. And this radius is 1. And this line length will be 0.5. And from, the, from this line to the center of the arc will be 0.25. from this line to that point will be 0.25. And lastly, the radius is 0.375. So that will fully define the sketch. So I want to rearrange that so that it looks similar to the actual question drawing. That way, if anything is wrong, I can easily check by looking at the differences. 
to that, that, yeah, it looks more like it. All right, so since all the sketch is fully defined, we can exit from the sketch. Now we need to select the axis revolution, which is this one. Okay, and we have two bodies. So if you look at the feature tree on this folder, we have solid bodies. There are two such bodies. If you expand that, we have two bodies. We need to connect these two bodies with a spoke. We can reuse the sketch. Okay, the sketch, but unfortunately, we cannot use a center line sketch as a path of a sweep. So what you need to do is you have to make another sketch using the right plane, same plane, create another sketch. But instead of redrawing, we can just use the sketch. I'm gonna make visible. Okay, just click and click on this eye icon, make it visible and select those sketches while pressing control, select all the sketch lines. And there's a tool, Convert Entities. So what it does is, select the sketch will be projected onto current sketching plane and become sketch entities. So this way, if original sketch changes, this sketch will automatically follow the original sketch. So now with that, I can now create Sweep Boss. Because this is a circular section, instead of sketching another circular profile, we have an option, the circular profile. So just select that. We have selected the path. The diameter will be 0.5. Okay, so this is the preview. Say okay. Now I have a one spoke. I'm gonna hide that sketch. Click and hide. And then we need to make a circular pattern of the spoke. Circular pattern is under this linear pattern feature here. If you click on this small triangle, there's a circular pattern. Features and faces, we want to select this sweep one. You can select from the graphics area or you expand that feature tree, sweep one. And then we need to select pattern axis. So pattern axis is right here, but we don't have any axis that you can select. So instead, we can select any circular edge or cylinder that shares the same axis. So you can you select this cylindrical surface equally spaced, number instances four. Say okay, now we have that. So the last one, what's left is fillet. So select the fillet feature. Point zero five. Now on the pop-up menu, select this one. We're going to select this one. But you want to exclude the top edge here and the bottom one. So deselect them. Okay, now we need to check the volume is 9.62 cubic inches.